All right, folks, the deck is Totem Shaman. The goal of the deck, quite honestly, is to see how many Trick Totems we can get on board at the same time. We can also buff up our Totems with Grand Totem Eyesore and Totemic Reflection to get additional copies of them and generate a wide, aggressive board that can also create some value. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can catch me live at twitch.tv slash raffle. Watch this! I'm gonna keep this for the coin, I think. Evolve might have been worth a consideration, but I would rather, like, get better cards for the early game. Bring them here. Nice. Because I'm probably dumping both zero mana spells is why I wanted to do this. Because I want to get the... And I don't care if this dies but I want to get the the damage through and um, wow, yeah, especially with that draw. I want to protect the mana tide and then stick a, I was planning to stick a weapon, but now I can just go with the totemic reflection for super totem. So it looks like a slow druid, maybe alignment, which uh, probably Means the totemic reflection on this is pretty good. It turns it into a. Yeah. Oh, wow! They they did a big whoopsie there, didn't they? First, I was upset about the high roll, but then um, reality set in. And they just did a bio project, apparently. Hopefully, they don't have an alignment, though, because not much I can do about that. Yeah, overgrowth is not alignment. Kind of a weird inclusion. So, get tricky. Uh, could be Jade if they're running um, Poison Seeds. I don't have a way to make board spaces, so even if I hit the uh, Toxfin, this isn't going to be great. Into the Plague that they obviously have. This is still pretty good. Wouldn't mind an eyesore. I... Jade Druid with bio projects? I don't know. Combo decks with poison seeds? That hasn't really been that common, has it? Uh, this doesn't actually make progress, so there's you no, know, like, right? it just damages these for. Cool. Okay. Okay, so it is Mally. Fine. Isn't that good for after the alignment, though? I mean, we're just really big sad if they have a uh, second cop. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna say we're real big sad if they have a second copy of uh, Poison Seeds, but. <laughs> Beautiful. 
Uh, Devolve. Generally pretty good. I mean, they needed the Plague down, so they couldn't really play around the counter spell regardless, right? No taunts. Eyesore. I was going to say you deserve this, but... Probably need the, uh... Probably not the Grand Totem, but I'm going to keep it anyway because it's fun. Uh, I need Ice Fishing if I want to have a chance here, I think. Brick Totem is good. Okay, this is manageable. Totemic. Oh my god. Okay, do not clear the Trick Totem. Don't do it. Pass on turn one. No Tide Caller, please. Beautiful. No! That was a mistake. Did they draw a card that turn? They have both weapons in hand? Fine, I just want to protect this so that I can copy it for next turn. Yeah, this is fine. All accordion to plan. Uh, they drew two cards off of that, so no uh, ice fishing yet? Good news. I wonder if it's Evolve Shaman. Because they seem to be hovering over this coin for a 5-drop, which could be the weapon. Do some weapon. Okay. Nice. Fantastic draw here. They just used the coin, too. Trick Totem is Seeker Mage today? Yeah. Nope! Alright then. Oh god, the Flurgal Toxfin is just going to absolutely annihilate me, isn't it? Don't do it. I'm looking for okay. Not Honker? Honker wouldn't be very good there because of, um, like, it's end of turns I wouldn't get to attack anyway. Looking for taunts? Oof. I, yeah. I mean... Still got a boatload of damage on the board. Let's see. Is it? Yeah, it looks like lethal to me. Bam! I don't think I can keep the. Uh, I'm gonna keep the reflection. But against a warlock, the ice fishing just decimates their um, uh, flare goal or their um, dark glare turns. I'm gonna lead with this. Because that gives me the Totemic Reflection target on turn 3. I don't get a turn 2, but that's fine. Alright then. I think I gotta take this buff because I need this to stick for a turn. Unless I just decide that I want to go hard on the uh, Trick Totem Totemic Reflection. But I need to save this from until turn 5, otherwise it telegraphs what we're doing, and, um... Uh-oh. Yep. Not bad. It's a great draw for me in this situation. Nice. Rip the dream? No, the dream is still alive. I've still got the trick totem into, uh... Into Dotemic Reflection. A agony goes a long Blair. Way. Just gonna go double cage match here, I think. 
bump here. Oh, that's unfortunate that I did not draw a card this turn. I'm going to give the opponent the opportunity to overextend. And then we're going to follow that up with a Trick Totem into Totemic Reflection. I saw someone playing this. Might have been the same person. Dark Lair Murloc. Yeah, I, I think I faced this, this deck. Probably the same opponent yesterday. Nah, just go face. It'll be fine. Yeah. It is, in fact, the place. No, go face. Did I have a raised dead in hand? They really are holding back minions here, aren't they? Is it even worth them? Probably. Oh. Give me the right card, please. It's just like a strong tempo play, right? If they do want to clear it, they have to... something like this. Can't feel great. There we go. I want to make sure that they can't get free trades into the Trick Totem. Oh no, no! <laughs> Okay, hit there. Wrong. <sighs> Trick totems are driving me crazy. That's all right. I've got uh, totemic. Yeah. Totemic into weapon. Four trick totems. We're getting tricky in here, chat. Yeah, good start. Don't mess this up. You messed it up, you idiot. Yeah, that's pretty good. No, I was... I was going to get three more. If I were on the coin, I would keep both two drops, but I'm not, so... I want to look for the tour guide, but I missed. I would like. I have a lot of two mana cards in my deck, so it's likely I have a follow up to the Totem Golem. But honestly, possible even just a hero power is good enough. Nice. Just hang out here, see what they answer this with, if they have anything at all. Thank you for the card. All right then, looks like a mill rogue. I'm just gonna try and sneak out the uh, eyesore next turn. Shouldn't have much in the way of removal for it. Certainly doesn't count. Actually, I don't know if I want to use this this turn. I don't. Eh. No. Let's do it. I'm not killing the. Uh... Murloc, but I will t cash in on my damage here. Hmm. I think I just want to dump hand as much as I can. Uh, probably go Totemic Reflection into Custodian. Yeesh. Okay. Hmm. Is that better? Or turn away from Vanish? Yeah. It's not great having to give up 10 damage into that, but like it buys me damage in the future turns. Why just one eyesore in your deck? Because I try to play by the rules. Whoa. 
I don't want the uh, hero power totem here. Needs a vanish, and um, <laughs> those are some stats. Also, even with just a vanish, I kill them. So, unless I have prep vanish into the. Uh... I, <laughs> I just need to find Murlocs of my own. Or at least a way to generate them. This is pretty good. The combination of uh, really don't want to be on the coin here. Well, okay. Is it not Murlocs, or did they just get a bad start? I don't have a great follow-up to this, but, like, I want to get this rolling early if I can. This gives me the potential to uh, top deck a Totemic Reflection. I've got a lot of three-mana stuff. So most of the time, I think this pays off. Evil Totem is fine. I don't want to play this because I don't want to overload myself uh, going into the Splitting Axe turn, which is what I'm playing towards. Murloc Shaman, the best Shaman deck. Um, I don't think we know yet, because that's terrifying for them. Evolve is going to upgrade that most of the time. Uh, we don't have a lot of data on the Galakron Shaman, but appear to be very good based on my understanding. I mean, there's a reasonable expectation that that would work well for them, given that we had just uh, gotten a lackey into hand, right? So. Look at how big these totem golems are, though. I think they have a devolve, unfortunately. But we are also uh, threatening lethal. Something to keep in mind. It's a good draw for turn one, I think. I think I want to play this beef. Eh. Wow! Let's actually go here. It's because Trick Totem is fun, especially if I hit a uh, unlucky Totemic Reflection off the top, but this will buff my board. Yeah, or my hand. Trick Totem will cast it for you. That's actually happened earlier. Uh, I, I think in the Mizaki Mage, Trick Totem cast a uh, Ice Fishing for me. Alright. Eh, that gets me closer to the uh, to the Totemic Reflection, right? Wow. Let's get the damage through. Okay. I assume this is Big Priest and uh, Devolve plus the Flurgle Toxfin are both pretty good. Oh, it's Reno. Wow! Actually, that landed on a really good minion, didn't it? like combo. I don't think you want to run these in inner fire combo anymore, but could be wrong. I have faith in my tricky boy. Nice. Uh, it's possible we die here, but unlikely. 
Okay. Uh, so it's either Dragon Reno or Dragon um, Inner Fire. Not even Shaman? No. Even Shaman is one of my least favorite decks to play. Okay, so I think it's probably not Reno. I want to get that down next turn. So. Actually, go. I mean, this is super greedy, but I'm going to do it anyway. Bash into this. Next turn, I have uh, Flurgle, Toxfin. I have two taunts, so it's going to be hard to remove them both, but I have Flurgle, Toxfin into Eyesore. When was the last time you played like, Gallery Priest with Velen and Mind Blast, etc.? Um, never? Probably, probably never. I think cloning Gallery is kind of bad in that deck. I don't even know if I've played a big, like a Res Priest version of, uh, of Mali Mind Blast. Yeah. Fine. Is the Murloc combo in every Shaman deck? Um, not everyone. Just most of the good ones. Fortitude in this deck makes so much sense? Yeah. I did a version of the of Inner Fire that was actually... Or I played one recently that was actually incredible. Everyone except Big Shaman? Yeah, I said... So I said all the good ones. On wings of destruction, they come. People are going to get really mad about that comment, by the way. I just need to make sure they have multiple taunts to make their potion of illusion turns a little bit worse. Uh oh. Full Nurshire. We're looking for the wild Byro, it looks like, but. On wings of Wait, you're, you're gonna die. Okay. I mean, I suppose they don't know that, but yes, they are, because the I. The Dire Wolf was uh, pretty good here, right? Who's a good boy? I put that in the wrong spot, but I still have Lethal. If only we had a heal totem to uh, give them the fullest of North shares. All right, against a warrior, just need a strong early game. Largal's tempting, but probably not it. I think I'll keep the cage match, but not the uh, evil totem. Evil totem doesn't uh, get me many stats. This is good. This is kind of unfortunate to draw, but it's still fine. Uh, this might be worth a coin reflection. <laughs> no, maybe not on an idiot totem, but we'll see what the opponent does. And has yeah, okay. Uh, this is pretty neat for me. I think I just want to go ahead and protect this board because next turn is this. much for next turn. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this and not keep the toxin because it defeats the purpose. Uh, same thing with the splitting axe, like I have a card that fetches it, so pretty good hand. Bummer. Nice. It's like w one of our few nature spells remaining, so happy to see that. I 
gonna try and sneak this out because I can copy it next turn with the uh, with the weapon. Swipe is like their only answer to that. The problem is, is that that tells us that they're um, that they're Mally Ghost, which is probably not great for me. Flurgle Toxfin, good enough to be in every Shaman deck. Um, probably not great non-Shaman. Probably gotta kill that. Can use the Flurgill Toxfin for the um, Spreading Plague, though. Or even, yeah. Okay, so Flurgill Toxfin, um, Totemic Reflection. This is probably worth. This denies the um, celestial alignment because they'll just be dead. Oof. Twenty-nine. Fortunately, not quite dead, are they? Right? I want to make board space here. Fantastic. Maybe a little less so there. That's not terribly useful. Dead or alive. Wait. Do I, I get to keep this hand? What is the text on Secret Passage? Swap back next turn. When does it swap back? Huh. Oh no, couldn't even find lethal. SMH my head. Oh, okay. That makes sense. I think Flurgle earned this lethal. Thank you to legendary patrons Brian Wynn, Fizzle Jizzix, Jeffrey Pierce, Justice Crater, Keys404, Korbach, Noggleshire, Notorious HS, Shadow1TV, Sognisman, and Fanfix.